in this video I'm going to show you how you can use a $4 Harbor Freight automatic center punch to tap perfectly straight holes using your drill press. Alright, step one is to buy the right automatic center punch from Harbor Freight. Uh, this black one is made in India. It has a short stroke and it's also um, too big to fit in a half inch drill truck. So this is this nice brass one is made in Taiwan. It only costs 50 cents more, four bucks, and it has the length and the plunger that we need. And there's a piece inside that will turn our automatic center punch into a tap guide. Converting from center punch into tap guide is pretty simple. All we need to do is unscrew the front portion and remove this plunger. Pop the spring back in. What we've done is defeated the center punch feature and we just have a spring-loaded plunger now. Now the easiest kinds of taps to use with this tool are large taps that have a little hole in the center. This is obviously going to receive the tip of our guide. Alright, as you probably guessed, we're just going to chuck up our center punch very gently. As you can see, I've already installed the handle on my tap. We're going to start it in the hole, line things up. And I'm just going to raise the table, centering ourselves. And I'm going to go ahead and keep going until this plunger is completely compressed. Lock my table down, make, thing, make sure things are still straight and square, and then I'm going to start tapping. Don't have to worry about going in sideways. It all does it for you. And by the time you run out of travel and the plunger in your guide, you've already started the thread. It ain't going crooked. Now for smaller taps that have a point instead of a hole, we just have to do a little more work. We need to get our uh, tap holder and we're going to need to drill a hole in the middle. As you can see here, I've mounted my tap holder in my vise. Um, it's actually sticking out through the bottom because it's so long. Um, and I've center punched a hole in the middle with my center punch. The best kind of drill used for this is called a center drill. You can pick these up at Harbor Freight for a couple bucks, um, but you can use a regular drill bit, that works too. And we don't have to go very deep at all, just enough to make a divot for our center punch to fit into. And this is where we discover one of the drawbacks of having a benchtop drill press. As you can see, I don't have quite enough adjustment in my table to uh, get everything to fit. So I'm just going to have to lift up on that by hand, get that in our little divot, and then I can start tapping. And from here, it's uh, pretty much smooth sailing. And obviously when you're done, and you want to center punch some holes, all you have to do is put that little plunger in. The big end goes down. The little end of the spring goes over it. And we have a center punch again.